What I learned over the summer was go where you're celebrated, not tolerated. I got into basketball through my big brother Abel. Um, like I was always in the gym with his team, and like his team, that was all like my big brother. So like they all, they all always said I was gonna be the, like I was always gonna be nice, blah blah. Like they always gave me confidence and stuff. So when I played kids my age, I was like, oh yeah, they definitely can't guard me because I always in the gym with them, and I was just growing up watching them like. I used to do drills on the side, like what they do in practice, I used to do it on the side, yeah. Because I may have pointed this way as I'm not there, but if you automatically just a pull up, you can't see it. Take that, take it to look, and then get out of the way this way. Like, I've been knowing Mike like my whole life, really. He played on like my brother's older team. Mike is a good trainer because like he's very detailed and like everything we do, like he breaks it down for us. But uh, then, I mean, he's like one of the only people that can outshoot me. So whenever he give me uh, tips on my shot, I listen to him because he's a really, a really good shooter. Uh, so I'm Michael Underwood. Um, I've known Isaac since he was a little kid. I played with his older brother Abel. Now I'm doing I'm doing player development and, and skill development and stuff like that in the area. I played at a low major D1 coming out of high school in 2018. So I played at Central Connecticut State for a year. Arrogant big headed transferred. I played at a JUCO team. 2019-2020, uh, one of the top three JUCO teams in the country. So we we won some championships and stuff. COVID ended that season. Uh, I then left there, played at a D2 in San Antonio, St. Mary's University. Right before the season started, I had my second knee surgery. So that was one of those years trying to fight back and stuff like that. And I ended up actually getting released at the end of the season. And uh, I spent some time after that trying to get back into playing and finding a spot to walk on, but things just didn't. It kind of felt like my my playing career was coming to an end, and my heart and my mind kind of shifted towards giving back. Uh, I actually took a step away from basketball for two years. Didn't touch the basketball. I didn't play the bat play basketball at all. All I did was coaching little AAU kids, um, and then just one thing after another led me back to the game. God led me back to the game and giving back to kids like Isaac. Um, and a few other kids in the area, college guys in the area. It's, it's cool to see though, because I'm starting to get that same love and fire back for the, the game through kids like him, so. I would say, I would say really personable um, and detailed. I don't like to, uh, I have more fun with the with the one-on-one -on -one type of stuff where I can break down a player's game and see what, what their weaknesses are, see what their strengths are, see what their habits are in a game, whether that be skillfully or whether that be mentally, dealing with coaches or dealing with refs or players, because I was a bit of a hot-headed player myself when I played. Um, I wouldn't say hot-headed, but just, kind of arrogant and smart mouth and all that stuff. So uh, I feel like I have a good niche of seeing what a player needs mentally and as, as far as skills and stuff goes too. Um, so I love breaking down film and watching stuff, just super detailed. Um, but I'm chill, I'm not the guy that's all rah-rah and yelling and all extra, but I do like to keep it real at the end of the day. So I, I was a gym rat when I played. I love gym rats like him and uh, just getting in here and working, so. If you had, like, if you had one minute with a player, you had to tell them like, something that you prioritize with just with development or, or with their career or just in life, like, what would that be? It's like, you're, you're big, like, you're big thing. Question. Deep questions. That's what I like, though. I would say, um, one of the, one of the best things to teach is, is how to be humble and, Realize how to be humble and, and keep your confidence because I was a player that that loved I love kind of showing my chest and beating my chest and I love talking talking crap I love 
I love that part of the game. That's my favorite part of the game is, is the, um, the aggression of the game and the competitiveness. So being able to remain competitive and confident and maybe honestly a little bit arrogant, but then at the same time recognizing that there's other competition out there. There's, there's people that if you're the top dog, there's somebody out there that you don't know about that's coming for your spot. If, if you're not the top dog, you know, you're humble enough to recognize that there's a place that you got to get to this work that has to be done. So it's, it's keeping the arrogance to, to step into a building and feel like nobody can compete with you, but then at the same, uh, same time recognizing that there's work that has to be done. And um, the, work, the work never stops. So just coming in here and being intentional with everything you do and not taking advantage of the opportunity that you have to play. Hey, yeah, the game. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like this right here. Um, you know what's crazy is I heard, I heard his mom say this in one of your videos about his humility, like his ability to stay humble. It's like exactly what I was just referring to. You walk into a building and you go to say what's up to Isaac or talk to Isaac. He doesn't walk around like he's too good to have a conversation with anybody. He doesn't walk around like um, he's better than anybody. And he enjoys he enjoys his friends, he enjoys his family, he enjoys the people. Um, but you can tell that he has like, in, in the position that he's in at a young age, it's cool to see that he has the gratitude with it too. It's not just... It's not just walking around with his chest out and stuff like that or too good to talk to the kids. There's kids that, you know, the AAU teams I coach and the little kids I see on Instagram is always taking pictures with him and taking time out of his day. So to see that he has that humility to him um, as far as just being a person and realizing that other people look up to him as a, as a player and as a person, um, I appreciate that part about him. But he, he's definitely humble and just a good, a good kid. So. He was like, no, he's a... He's Where's YB? Young ballers. Uh, nah, I stand for young boy. And the shirt. And oh, the yeah. Shirt. And a short purpose. This stands for young ballers. You go for it to the one side. Why Like LaMelo Ball. Uh, but LaMelo got like a 6'5 mother, so... She a teenage dog, bro. Yeah, she is. Why do I know his mom? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Everybody wants a ball in the family. I didn't watch that, but yeah. I've seen the documentaries and stuff. The documentaries, the videos on YouTube. Screw the game. I want 55,000 jumps. Don't stop until you finish. And then I need 55,000 shots. Oh. If you do 55,000 jumps, I'll do 100,000. <laughs> 55 cases. Oops, seems like we're both not getting nothing. But, of course he's fiery. I feel like that's like the first word that comes to mind. It's like he's fiery. He's not afraid of talking to the people in the crowd. He's not afraid of talking to the coach on the bench. If somebody's chirping at him, he's not afraid to, to, to be competitive. Just like I was talking about a second ago. Um, so that part's really cool. But at the same time, at least, from this more from like a, a big brother standpoint is when I get to go watch him play his AAU games and school games and stuff, not letting as much affect him, um, and getting getting him out of not, almost getting him out of his um, his mental. Sometimes I, I pick that up from him, where he'll go through the phase of just being locked in, and, and something might get said or something might go off for him. He might be missing shots or something might get on his nerves, and then. Now his body language, whether whether it affects his game or not, I see his body language change a lot of times, um, which you can't get too mad at him because he's 14, 15. So uh, I would just say, I don't want to say emotional, but like passionate, very passionate. Yes, that's the perfect word, passionate. Passionate would be the word to describe Isaac, whether it's being fiery on one end because of his competitive nature or whether it be passion because something might might not be going his way or something might have affected him the wrong way and then he hasn't maybe learned to to respond to that you know in the right manner yet but um, I think I think he'll get there I have no doubt in my mind Seven. Seven. boy he must, <laughs> he must not know who I am I had to do 20, I did 19. That was so sad. How many was that? 15. I can do a muscle up, but I don't know if I can do that now. TCU, they got a nice facility. Like, um, even their practice gym is really, really good. 
I, I could definitely see myself playing here. So this is my first college camp. I'm at TCU. There's a whole bunch of big names here. You know, we got Caden Edwards here, people I grew up with. Um, I'm one of the I'm one of three 12 to 7 kids, not a lot of 12 to 7 kids. Yeah, it's a lot of comfort here. I was, I was just trying to accomplish, like, proving I could play on that level with them because, like, like I said, there was a lot of four and five stars, uh, 20 to five here, and, uh, like, he was getting the coaches to notice me, like. I've seen you jump. You can be Yeah, like, I can't grab it, but I can touch it. He can slap my side. You can barely jump. I know I play football now. I can barely, okay. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Really you can play football, bro. No, I ain't played last year. I'm doing a team two weeks ago. Hand on score. Hand on score. Perfect. Good. 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 I just feel like, you know, gotta, gotta go kill. Not right now, he's just kind of chilling with his grade. Not with his grade, but the people above. But he, free up. <laughs> no. No, it was just above. How did he score like? Caden Edwards. It's the Caden Edwards show. Yeah, Caden scored like six times. Um, hopefully, Caden can go. I mean, hopefully, uh, KD can guard him. I know like what college coaches look for, like in a point guard, somebody who could defend and somebody who could get their teammates involved. So that's what I was doing. Like I, I probably led my team in assists. And I was playing good all-ball defense. Like nobody really cooked me. just within this one area that are nationally ranked, right? In the past NBA draft, you had Anthony Black, Deontay Ford, Hayson Wallace. So in this area, talent plays against talent, right? Iron sharpens iron. So you're constantly getting pushed. You're constantly getting better, right? This, in turn, brings better coaches, right? Coaches want to coach great players. And you've got all these things happening in this melting pot, and that's what makes the DHW so special. You don't get that everywhere. Texas is different because, like, every year there's two pros. We have a whole bunch of McDonald's All Americans. Every year, it's like, we produce talent. And, like, most of Basically, everybody I grew up with, they all have O's, they all, they all five stars, four stars. Like, everybody that I grew up with, they all killers. Like, just playing against them, like, that makes, it, that makes me better.
got some out of the drills. Okay, maybe one or two things that'll help you guys uh, when you leave here. Okay. Now, another thing I want to share is, uh, you guys want to come to our games this year? All you got to do is, is call us. Uh, we'll give you our, just call our office. We can give you free tickets uh, to each to each ball game. You want to come to a game? Okay. So let us know. All right. Sometimes the football games and also. Leave you guys taking this Colorado game. I think it may be too late. <laughs> you know, Colorado team. Uh, football team's playing Colorado. But anytime this year, y'all want to come to our games, just let us know. You got O. What you mean? You got O. Jalen got an O. That's because he's out there hooping. That's what I'm saying. He, he, he talks about these camps. They don't give out offers. I didn't some, say they don't some of them give do. Out offers, no, 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 not all of them just give out offers. Right though. You gotta like, you gotta go and hoop. Did you hoop? Yes, me, Jalen, me, Jalen, and Kemp all was out right there Oh yeah, I hooped like this kid. I'll be. But that's five. Though. How many other kids were there from Texas? From like DFW? A lot. A lot. Wait, you talking about Texas State? Yeah. DFW. This was probably better, right? D it was way more here. DFW. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. That's a video. That's crazy. so bad. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. One. I don't like this view. <laughs> one, two, one. That's the second one. Bad. Uh -huh. One look good. Huh? What dunk? Brother missed my dunk. He dunked it? Yes, bro. Was it a bad how dunk? Is he, how is he videoing and he misses my dunk? Was it a bad My name is Isaac Hayes, class 1227, from Fort Worth, Texas, and I attend North Cali High School. Um. The opportunities in Fourth, like it's not really a lot. Like that's why everybody, like all the good Fourth players, go to Dallas because Dallas has all the resources and stuff, and they got all the hype. Like, the Dallas, like they just, they just love their players more. Like Fourth, if they see somebody winning, they gonna start hating on them, and they're not really gonna push them. Dallas is kind of like the opposite. Like they see somebody all right, and they gonna like market them and seem like they're the best player. Fourth, we had some good talent, like. Uh, Willie Warren, Keith Langford, Jalen McLeod, Ryan Bennett, Coach Hackett. Isaiah, you're running in transition with this, okay? So we're not doing it for very long, but we're getting Justin. You throw it in. Devin's running with you. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Move. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. Three, 
Four, five, six. Man, man. No, that's our <laughs> official break. That's our official break. We gotta go back to the gym, man. Little bro. Oh, y'all was getting it? Nah, that ain't what we do is take for some places. All right. Wasn't bad today. I want to have, you know, as we're winding out this week, uh, tomorrow, defensive day, just have one of those super energy days where everything is going going well. You just feel the energy in the gym. Okay, you did a much better job of getting down here today. I appreciate that. I appreciate the effort. Okay, if we can get to the gym or the weight room or the track or wherever we're going, I mean, the quicker we can get there, the more that we can get started, and the better off we'll be. Okay, just make everything okay seem better. All right, nice job today. Let's get this break. Get out of here. No, it's not that bad. I can just compare them. It's not that bad. We used to play with broken fingers back in my day. We never played with a broken finger. <laughs> okay, uh, I think we play. I think we play Watch Hatchie here. Then we play Sam Houston at Sam Houston. Then uh, we go to South Carolina. That's go to South Carolina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We go to South Carolina. Uh, some, some beach, some beach, some beach ball invitation or something. Uh, it's in December. We go there. That's a big. That's a big tournament. Then we go to. Uh, Probably one more good team. We go to McDonald's. We we'll probably see Brenham there. Oh, that's in, isn't that in Texas? That's in Houston. Houston. We we'll probably see Brenham there. What's that other tournament? No, Raising Canes is in uh, a Abilene. Whatever. Yeah, it's a, Texas. yeah. Oh, Texas. oh yeah. And then we go to Raising Canes. They they have all right comp. We should win that though. And then we go to uh, yeah. Then our South Carolina. Y'all play in Hoop Fest, right? Oh yeah, and we play in Hoop Fest. We, we yeah, supposedly play. We probably play a Saturday a Saturday night game too at Hoop Fest. Oh, uh, pre. Uh, rankings, we should be top five in Texas. Six out. They got Deville. They got Deville. Deville and Brennan for sure. Then Plano. Boston Hatchie should be up there too. Plano. Plano East. They they beat everybody. But who do they have? I don't know. They beat everybody though. They, they didn't lose no against Castle. Yeah, you mean at TBC? No, they lost. They lost one. But they beat uh they beat Beaumont, and they beat uh. And yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah, but they beat Brennan by like 30. Oh, yeah, yeah, they did, they did. Lancaster is 5 there. Yeah, so it's going to be Plano, then Beaumont, or then us. Now, they're they going to probably hate on us, give us top 10. Right. But but we the only we the only team that went undefeated at TABC. Word? Well, we wasn't like the only team, but like the only team that had like a good schedule. What's the question again? What are pictures hard? Y'all don't let us know these pictures are hard. Oh, huh. Like literally, like no, like it's like dykeman, bro. Like no, no, no standing room, no nothing. Like you literally have to beat on things to see the game. And then outside, like after the game, they had helicopters, police cars everywhere. I'm so serious. It was wild. Bro. Who's who's bigger? Uh, oh, Eric Crowley. Uh, I don't know who's him bigger, but. It might be Crowley if they put the bleachers up. I think Crowley. But what they did was last year was they had us play Crowley at Crowley um, on a like school, like a day that was a holiday for us. So like nobody was even there for real because it wasn't a school day. So we played at, like we played them at like 11 o'clock. But the game here, or actually the game at Crowley this year, I think we played them at night, boy. What did y'all do yesterday? <laughs> we had to run a mile in under six minutes. 
well, okay, 640. Then uh, we had to run bleachers, then sprints on the on the football field sprints. Then we had to run bleachers and then finish a lap. Yeah, but like, it sound easy when I'm saying it, but it was not that easy. But then, oh, well, then we had our defensive stuff in, in the gym. It was like slides, one-on-one full court, uh, rebounding drills, taking charges. Yeah, bad for business. Then, um, then we just went to a volleyball game. The volleyball game was chill. Then we worked out after. Well, they worked out after. I was shooting. Well, it wasn't even they. It was just two people. They bugging. Hey, um, my lip messed up, so that's the only reason I'm eating bad. Like, literally, I got a cut on my top lip and my bottom lip, so can't do nothing. Oh, they think one by one last year. Man, so they cheated. It took like seven, seven of my points away, and our big man was gone because he got the flu. Okay, but did we have K2? Did we have Cade? Who's no. That? Don't worry about that. Player. You'll see. The football player. That's nice. You don't know. <laughs> but I'm, he's, I'm, I'm, he's, he's, he's a nice. man child. He's he dunking with two hands. He's dunking? Yes, with two hands. Hey. I'm dunking with one. Okay, okay, that's no, that's different. Dad, bro, he's a man child. I'm trying to tell you. Katie he is, is dumb athletic, but I don't he's know. Not, he's not. He got a big man this year. I'm going to be guarding whoever, and he's not going to score that many points. Yeah, he's not. Okay. Who, who was Odu last year? Who? Number two. Brayden? Yeah. Hey, what about him? I'm going to be guarding him this year because I had to guard other other big dudes. Okay, yeah, exactly. That's the, that's the problem. That's too little. Y'all are too little. Hey. You the biggest player on the team? I'm the tallest. Oh, yeah, he's at too little. Too little. Well, I mean, he's about the same height as your big man that you had last year, right? Uh, nah, King oh, the tallest. Nah, Y'all the same height. King is longer than you. Duh. His arms King. dumb long. Yeah. <laughs> Happy boss. What's up? No. Nah, I'm, I'm telling you. What you call different? Yeah, he's so yeah, weird. He's, he's lanky. Nah, he just left. I just, I just got done. I'm telling you, what you call is different. Cade is different. Cade, he's athletic. I'm going to tell you that. But I'm, yeah, bro, I'm, I'm not trying safe. to tell you. He's a man child, bro. Wait, y'all undefeated been, last year? Trust yes. me. I'm bidding on you, but Isaac's just going to say that. Bro, he is can't athletic. say nothing. He's both went undefeated. They got to they gotta have like five 100 points. They, they went undefeated and beat us by one. Hey, a dub is a dub. Bro. <laughs> a dub is a dub. And they cheated, bro. Nobody cheated. Bro. We play at y'all place. Bro, what you call it? It's different. All right, we're going to see. No, I know crazy. And I'll be at the game. Nice. I'm like, hey, deny him the ball. Hey, don't let him touch it. 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 Don't oh, let him wait. Touch he go to a different school. Yeah. He go to a different school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be coach you on the sideline. Don't worry. And y'all play, play at the ninth grade campus, too? Yeah. Maybe don't catch a body. <laughs> oh, yeah. He, he might actually like, get a middle school dunk, though. November. Something we didn't see last like year. <laughs> <laughs> Something we didn't see last year. In game dunk? I got on a Vertimax this like this year. I'm, I'm probably like last year I, I started grabbing rim. Now this year I'm finna start dunking. I don't think Isaac touched rim. Last year. I'm behind on so much. Isaiah, <laughs> I got AP classes. It's true though. For one, do you care, see the difference man. in our it's wings college band? classes? They don't care. Yeah, wings. Yes. Just AP and all rim. Like you see this? So it's kind of like dual. Do you see that? Yo, yeah, I'm got, telling you, yo. You work him out? Uh, Did you work him out? Yeah, JG and Chan. Hey, we're gonna hold him to under 10. Under five. Uh, I was yeah. working EJ out too, but EJ never shows up anymore. So. Oh, yes, he's too gangster for that. He's too gangster for that. He hit me. But th that's, that's how all of them are. Like, they all they be consistent for like two weeks, and then after that, they. Chan's in there. Consistently though. Yeah, Chan and yeah, Chan and Jalen, they're real hoopers. Yeah, <laughs> Chan and JG are always in there. I'm gonna teach you how to be a king. Uh, trust, you're like, I, trust, I'm like that. I'm, I'm gonna teach like him the jumper and then I'm gonna teach him how to treat a lady. You like horse, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a mentor and a skills coach. In fact, my fingers are messed up. Is there, there's evidence I jammed it today. Oh my god. Oh boy, I, I saw his finger bend up. Oh. Nah. <laughs> I thought you were out of here. Nah. Well, I'd be different if I work out like that. Is your finger like this? Which one? This one. It's not really jammed though. I thought he flicked you off, bro. <laughs> Which one? Which one? It's my ring finger. I gotta take like. No. 
Are you coming to the game? Huh? Are you coming to the game? When? When we play Crowley. Most definitely. Oh, you got to get your ticket Matter three fact, weeks in advance. What's your prediction? Why? Make a prediction. Make, oh, yeah, a, make a prediction. prediction. Make yeah. a prediction. Yeah. What you got? I haven't seen y'all's team play yet. You haven't seen our team? Just know. Just know. Y'all went 0-3 in TABC playing bum. Why are you saying y'all? Oh, <laughs> That's tough. I'm in here with you. <laughs> That's tough. <laughs> okay, whatever. So Crowley went 0-3 in TABC playing bums. And we played comp and we went 3-0. and up. I haven't I haven't seen y'all play. Uh, do you know Katie? I haven't you seen know Katie, right? Katie? Katie? Do you not know Katie? Do you know Do you know Kamani? Like eight KDs. Bro. Okay, okay this. Do you know Kamani? Yeah, I hey. don't know him personally, but I know. Him yeah, you like yeah, you know what he looks. Like. Okay, you know Kamani. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Terry. Terry's the best player at Crowley. Is Jalen? Yeah, Jalen's the best player at Crowley. Yeah, it does. Yeah, still no prediction. You would say yeah, that? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, I'd say that. From what I've seen, at least. So, so you know Crowley. So, do you think they could us? And you haven't seen us play though, like. Just the North Crowley Panther brand. Do you think they can mess the with us? The brand is yeah. the brand. The <laughs> brand. Tough. Yeah. Um. Ask me after like the first three games of the season. What kind of? Or they play September ninth. We play played September, September, September 9th, 9th uh, gas this week. For real? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know y'all played that early. Crowley's in there too. So you y'all you play. Um, play at TABC and Crowley's there too. Yeah. Oh, I'll watch then and then double back with me and I'll have an answer. Okay. I'll get. I'll keep it real too. Okay. I'll get my honest opinion. Okay. Bad. Three, two, one, switch it. Other side. Go ahead. Run through each finger. Run through each finger. Yep. You should take two dribbles on each one. Pull your wrist back. I see both of y'all have like a thing where y'all's wrist is loaded back this way. Or not loaded, but it's relaxed out in front. You do it more. So then now when you pull the ball back, you're like slinging it this way, like that. Versus having your wrist loaded already, and you're just going up straight up that way, right? So I want y'all to go, you do it sometimes, but we're off your off the dribble stuff, if we can get your wrist loaded early, you'll, it's less movement, it's more fish, you'll make more shots. So I want y'all to go one this way, two shot up that way. That's right. Like this way though. So I come right here. Don't jam up like that. Just pull it right here. Okay. See how my elbow, it's the same as me doing this. That's the only difference. One, two, shot. It's little stuff like that you don't notice that'll make yourself much more efficient. You try. Pick it up lower. And then come up. Dang, Good. Five. But look. Get away from them, those. Especially when you form shoot. When you form shoot, everything. Straight up, straight down, yeah. It's like respect, respect your own shot. You're doing this, you don't really respect your shot. Load and pull, good, Zay. Seven. Load, pull, good. Eight. That was good, Zay. Nine. Good. Two. So now we'll go other side with the uh, left hand pull up. Set. Load it. Touch it. Watch me. Oh, I'm bringing the ball to my hand. Just a one drill pull up. My hand, Yep. Side though, man. Straight down. Good. Three. That's a shut up. Good. Load it early, Zach. Load it early. Four. Straight up, straight down. Clay Thompson. <laughs> two. Hurry, <laughs> guys. Straight up, straight down. There you go. Three. Shot. So we'll go as a team. We'll make four to the left, four to the right. Between, cross between. Between, cross between. Pick up that way. <laughs> straight up into it. Focus on the pick up. Yeah. Hard pound, focus on the pick up. Too slow, Zay. Oh, yeah. Straight into you. Okay. Oh. Four shots. Pick up. Good. Y'all got it. Oh. Between, behind, behind, pick up. Load that wrist. Boom, shot. There you go. Good. Shot, boy. You find out you get a little burn. Two. <laughs> nice. Three. You going this way now? Yeah. So, one, two. 
shot. But I'm creeping forward. Three, shot. Shot one. Two. Yeah, that was better. Three. Stick. Better, Zay. Yeah, go two. Two at the line. Two, shot. Okay, so a lot of times I was watching the shoot. You, you do a good job of getting to the, to the rim. You get fouls and stuff all the time. But I hardly, I, maybe it's just me from what I watched, but I hardly saw you shoot a lot of floaters. But as you get older, I feel like that shot will open up a lot for you. Am I tripping? No, you're not. Oh, okay. <laughs> he doesn't shoot a lot of floaters, right? None. You can't shoot floaters. Which is cool. It's fine. Like, you don't need to right now. But as the big start to do this, then that shot opens up a lot for you. And as you start to start throwing oops, lobs, and stuff like that, that little spot right here in the paint opens up for you. So this is, I'm a guard y'all. This is just live, however you want. You get that headsy and go by me, and you get around this guy. This is when you start to attack the bigs and now you're getting fouls, right? So I want you to, you do a good job of getting by your, the first man, Hezzy, however you want, I'm gonna let you around me. He starts to cut me off, get into the paint, two for floater. Two for floater, one for floater, but I want you to get into a floater. Okay. Matter of fact, I wanna play the drop, so y'all guard each other. Kinda dummy defense, mm -hmm. kinda dummy defense, but you're letting him go around, you're going to the left. Get around him, and then we're getting into the floor. Yeah. Imagine that help, though. You got help here, you got help here. So you got to look. Y'all got to get in here quick. Once you get here, then you can slow it down. Yeah, look up, though. Get your eyes up. All right. One, give me 10. Right there, yeah. Two. Mm. Mm. You haven't seen that time's a turn. Plus, back to the middle, one. Yeah, that's it. Nice. Four. Yep. Five. Yo, we got two minutes. Shot. Shot. only gonna get worse. You gotta respect every shot that you take. Take it serious. We got an hour in here, it's gotta be an hour of good work. I don't get to have y'all every day, so. Three. Appreciate it, man. Oh, no doubt. Nice to meet you. Yes, sir, you too, bro. What time does y'all school start? It's a lot more in my control. Gotcha, like, gotcha, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Versus, versus when you're coaching and stuff, you're up under a program, with yeah. whatever they want to do. So For sure. We'll see. And then uh, with the better, and like, exactly. oh, okay, I came to your game, and oh, you thought you really had a good one, but you know what I'm saying, I saw you miss oh, this, that, that. Exactly. And like, just, you can give a different vantage point that like and no one else may give it allows me to them. go and watch it. Right. So I, got to, I had to miss so many games last summer because I was coaching. But that's like, that, it, that's a, a point exactly. It's like, obviously you're, with the training stuff, you have groups and stuff for like a business that yeah, you run. Yeah, yeah. But then when there's kids that, them, JG, yeah. Chan, uh, just ones that maybe personal relationship or yeah. I've, we just, I've been drawn to them or right. I see something in them and just got to pull it out, you know. Right. I don't want, I want to be able to be that resource too. We don't have too many out here. So. Yeah, 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 no, definitely for work. Not, yeah, not, not time. glad though. I appreciate you guys' time. Ah, man. We'll be in here now, it. we're locked in. I mean, look, you should, you should have the, uh, the keys to Southwest, right? You alumni out here. Well, well Harper's not there. Oh, that's true, Harper's yeah, yeah, not, yeah. Harper was actually going to come up here. Because uh, he, I, yeah, uh, yeah, so uh, crazy tough. The first ever sponsored, Kobe sponsored team. Rob, okay. And uh, what's that, Justin Edwards? Duke was the one that's kind of down. Yeah, Justin Edwards, yeah. <laughs> Let him touch you first, oh, Damn, your ass scary as hell, boy. 
Come on, KP. Come on, KP. Take it, KP. Take it, KP. Take it, KP. Take it. Hey, 